Now, Molla, there's an interesting video that's uh, been going around about this uh, a wife that uh, is asking advice from people with regards to a, a particular situation. And in a nutshell, it is um, that she's been married for a while. She has children and she only recently found out that her husband only married her for her dean, but he is not, he was never attracted to her or he's not attracted to her. What does one do with this? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So uh, the hadith of Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Tunkahul mar'atu li arbaay. A person get married to a woman for one of the four reasons. Li maliha, for money, or li hasabiha, for her status in life, or li diniha, and for her deen, you know, and for her lineage or a, 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 a family life, right? Fath far bidhati deen taribat yadak. Try and look for the one that is in deen, but also, and when we have become full of dust, look for that particular wife that can help you become a good Muslim also. So when, in another hadith of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, so one day he asked the wife, a, a, a lady, Assalamu Alaikum, and how are you? And how's the married life? She said, Ya Rasulullah, I couldn't find a better person uh, in deen. He fasts every day. And every night they said in tahajjud. So Nabi Karim Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told him, you know, Inna li ahlika alayka haq. Your family could write over you. Ma inna li zawjika alayka haq. And your wife is going to write over you. Deen doesn't only mean making salah and read Quran and pull tasbih the whole day. Deen means I fulfill the rights of everybody who has a right over me. So that is our deen. Our deen of Islam is a way of life. How do you live with one another? How do you live with your enemy? How do you live with those who oppress you? And how do you live with those who are good to you? All in one. That is Islam. That is deen. And not only uh, rituals of ibadah, it is actually a way of life and how we live our life. So if your husband is thought he's only married for deen and he doesn't anything of else, maybe you should look at yourself. Am I deen conscious and I forget how to attract him? Because it is human nature for opposites to attract. Right? So I need to show him what I have of the assets that Allah gave me. And that I can attract him to me so that he can see the beauty not only of deen, of ritual, but also the, the, the beauty of the wife he got married to.